First, Azim Rafiq called out Yorkshire Cricket Club alleging years of racist abuse. It killed me when it came from the inside and I think the behaviour of my own teammates uh, slowly ate away at me. Then the boss of cricket in England and Wales did little to reassure people with this apology. We're really sorry for what the experiences that you may have been through, through trying to engage in cricket in this country. And now another scandal. Former England batsman Alex Hales having to explain this photo in the Sun newspaper of him in blackface from 2009. The theme was musicians and um, you know, Tupac is, was, always will be my favourite musician, so I went as him. I obviously realised that this is incredibly disrespectful and I want to apologise for the offence that this has no doubt caused. Add to all that, the original whistleblower, Azim Rafiq, has had to apologise for anti-Semitic messages he sent ten years ago. It's quite the mess and a lot to discuss as the England and Wales Cricket Board met for an emergency meeting at the Oval today. What do you hope to get out of the meeting today? Um, just clarity and togetherness, I suppose. Does cricket, ha cricket have a racism issue? Well, we've got a lot of work to do, there's no doubt about it. Mihir Bose has researched racism in sport for a book and thinks cricket has a lot of work to do. Top level of the game is, is basically um, white public school educated. It's become even more, if you like, in, in, in that direction. So that, that needs to be looked at. Um, and also, I think uh, we need to get away from the idea that you can just have an initiative and, and that's it. You know, the initiative itself is the answer. The initiative has to produce answers for it to work. And in the last hour, as the meeting at the Oval broke, a commitment from the man at the top of the ECB to root out racism. Azim Rafiq has shone a light on our game that has shocked, shamed and saddened us all. Racism and discrimination is a blight on our game. To Azim and all of those who have suffered or experienced any form of discrimination in our sport, we are truly sorry. Our sport did not welcome you. Our game did not accept you as we should have done. We apologise unreservedly for the suffering you have faced. Little detail this evening on just how the ECB will reform the game, but a promise that will come next week. Uh, well, Toby is still at the Oval for us, and Toby, some pretty powerful stuff there. But after all that, what next? Well, it really was, wasn't it? I mean, the ECB, the England and Wales Cricket Board, have been under huge pressure, of course, since this racism row erupted. And today was really about trying to find a way through this to persuade fans and players that racism not only had no place in the sport, but also give us some sort of proof that they could get rid of it. So we heard there from the chief executive, you know, Tom Harrison, come out with that heartfelt apology. But he also said that there would be essentially a 12-point plan to eradicate racism from the sport. But as you said, not a lot of detail on that at this point. All of the sort of senior members of the cricket clubs who came here today will now go away and speak to their members and come back for another meeting next week, we think on Wednesday, when we should hear some more detail about that. As for the man himself, the boss here at the ECB, he was facing a lot of questions in that press conference about whether he should resign. He said no, that wasn't going to happen, saying he had the backing of the sport.